Welcome to Second Most Fishing. This is Jared Wold coming to you from Hickston, Wisconsin, which is where my uh, dad and his siblings grew, partially grew up before they moved to the Milwaukee area. And I fish a section of the Trempolo River that runs right through town here, accessing it from the park here in town by the baseball field. It can be a little tricky to get in over here. It's sort of a rocky spot. But more or less even with where I'm standing right now, I caught a 16 inch brown a few years ago when I was fishing and towards the end of the season in September just went out to catch the last bit of the bite and I'm starting to wish I had worn my whole bit of gear here but just have to take my time I mean fear is spraining or breaking an ankle and shingle like this. Ooh, <laughs> that's what I was worried about right there. Just stepped down into a nice deep hole. little area. This will be fun. Well, I'll get to wash it all off right away. I hope. so I could fish this hole under the bridge. Probably should have worked further upstream. Well, that didn't take long. Very first cast. <laughs> I believe that was a brookie. I didn't even have tension on the line before he hit that. Oh, 
the fish already. <laughs> so that might not have been a fish. I might have just been hung up on the structure that's right there. There's a fish, or not. All right, now I get to walk through a little bit of peat. Well, if nothing else, it seems like the brookies are ready to play today. Right, that cast right there is right about where I caught that 15 inch brown a couple years ago. Got some fish following. Whew, water's a little on the cold for. Decent sized fish. I think probably a brookie because he chased out of cover. But yeah, this clump of weeds up here is right where I caught the nice big brown. Water is chilly today. Regretting uh, not having to turn my pants into shorts only because of the fact that it's uh. right in the tree key with the trim below is you're always fishing a bank undercuts. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of small brookies in here. Come on buddy, you're not hooked that much. Nice little brookie. seven inches. I had a lot of little brookies harassing me on the them. <laughs> it's 
somehow managed to get every treble in his mouth. There you go, big guy. He came right out of that spinner at the last minute. Oh, there's another. <laughs> if they come out that far, you know they're bookies. And there goes half my reel. Well, now that's interesting. My rod's broken. <laughs> Wonder how that happened. Okay, well, I guess I'm fishing with a shorter rod the rest of today. Oh, I think I know how that happened earlier this right into the rod, and that must have weakened it. Either this or I go get my fly rod. Luckily my fishing vest has a nice rear pocket. I don't know which side my zipper's on. Oh, there it is. Well, this little pause, maybe I'll get that brookie to pop out of cover again. Oh, the water's really cold. been chilly the last few days here in most parts of Wisconsin. Well, I'm at it, I might as well get a... Looks like right about 54. That's pretty chilly. So, the question is, how good can I cast Only half the rod happened to a happened to a uh, fly rod I bought recently and I had never used it. Went to use it for the first time and it turned out it had a flaw in it and it broke so it turned out it was a pretty darn good rod. I was able to cast okay even though I was missing the top foot of it. For my spinners I typically use, especially since I'm wearing, I think this is 10 pound test line which by the way I needed to re-spool and forgot to do so we'll see if that find a bird's nesting. I typically use a trilene knot on these I just found that to be the most secure knot. This particular spinner I've pretty much had on this rod since January. I've yet to have to replace it. Got a mono master here. retrieving my line so I don't leave line on the water. So let's see how good this casts. The only problem is I'm at least it broke off fairly close to the <laughs> they're really coming out of cover today. <laughs> so usually if your cast isn't right underneath cover and you get a hit that means it's probably a brookie. Browns typically won't come that far for to actually hit something. 
so this definitely affects my casting distance to be sure. I'm pretty sure that was the same fish I had on just a little bit ago, but we'll see. Oh, right in the tree. Which sucks because I'm gonna... It's gonna ruin the next good hole. It's gonna take some time to get used to casting this. These little brookies will hang out underneath all this vegetation. And with as cold as things are right now, my guess is there's probably gonna, they probably won't catch any browns today, at least up here. My guess is this is gonna be all brookie action, except maybe in some deep holes once I get up into the woods up ahead. Oop, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Well, if nothing else, I've turned this into a travel rod. Yep, <laughs> definitely harder to control. I'm just doing a lot of overhead casting. There we go. That's nice. Oh, there we go. That was a perfect cast. That didn't get a fish. I don't think another cast will. And it looks like shark casts are not gonna be easy. going to be interesting. That probably was a brown. Ooh, there was a decent fish. my casting distance is being affected. Especially now that I got a little bit of a bird's nest going. There, there's a fish. Another brookie. That I'm probably gonna lose here in a second. Decent size one though. About nine and a half inches. Suddenly my spinner doesn't want to work properly. Well, that's interesting. The little piece that's supposed to help it, help it not.
<laughs> he kept going after it. That was the cast I needed, but... Ooh, there's a brown. <laughs> ah, twice got the right cast, but... Ooh, there's a fish. Another brookie. Pretty typical of the these streams that are heavy with brookies in this part of the state. They'll be anywhere. Good casts, bad casts doesn't really matter. Oof! <laughs> Had a nice saw something initially and. Couple swipes at it. He did it again. <laughs> Decent sized fish at the front end of that hole. He keeps taking a pass at it. Right there. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You can do it. There goes my lure. Oh well. Well, I guess it's a wrap for this little section. I, I've managed to catch some fish despite being to a point of having line that's terrible. And half a rod. All right, I'm at my next stop for the day. I'm still fishing the Trempolo. This area you can see has a lot of marshy areas nearby. I'm down in a, the next town south of Hickston called Sucklerville. Ooh, that was a nice brown, I think, that just popped out. There's a nice fish. And I lost him. Nice 11 inch brookie right there. Really pretty fish. There he goes. There's another nice fish. It's a rainbow. Nope, oh, another brookie. God. Ten inch. At least they're not inhaling it quite so much. Same hole, second brookie. Okay, let's see if we can get another out of that hole. Same spot. Looks like a bunch of more. Bunched up right there. Oh, there's another one. Jeez. Smaller one, but nice fighter. Uh, 
can shave it. Actually, that's a brown. Or nope, another brookie. Jeez. Wow, he really did a number on that. Sorry, right, buddy. Hopefully I can save his eye. Whew, all right, that's three rookies out of the same hole. <laughs> okay, another cast in the same spot. Which was not in the same spot. There we go. Three casts in a row, three bookies out of the same basic position. There, there's another one. <laughs> Well, sometimes catching a lot of brookies is fun. Uh, man. That makes four out of the same hole. Keep counting. It's funny, had so many good casts in a row and <laughs> I can't seem to, might have bought enough time to settle everything down. <sighs> there we go. There's another fish. <laughs> Every time I get good casts, they're getting smaller though. Probably caught the biggest one out of that hole on the first cast. Can't believe how inaccurate I am when I'm going that way. <laughs> Always the danger with these anytime you, of course that's a new one. There we go. <laughs> there was a hit again. <laughs> Got something to Welcome to Second Most Fishing. This is Jared Wold coming to you from the Kickapoo River. I'm actually gonna get into the river by popping into this little creek called uh, Cook Creek, I believe it's called. <clears throat> it has a slight downstream section here that apparently goes right into the Kickapoo to allow me to fish a section I wanted to fish for a while that's got a lot of meanders and stuff so it should hopefully be a slightly better way into the stream. There's a pretty big fish right in front of me. He was just hanging out kind of in the middle. <laughs> Already getting some follows.
still dealing with the fact that broke off part of my rod. Decided I wasn't gonna bother fly fishing today, so. Oop. <laughs> Well, first fish of the day. That's a nice fish. <laughs> it's a nice fish. It's a little brown. Eight and a half. Well, lately I haven't been catching a lot of small fish, but the last two couple days it's been a lot of small ones aggressive enough to actually get the treble in their mouth. Oof. I'll tell you, the one thing I'm finding lately, these fish on the kick hit so fast that You don't There's a decent fish. It's a pretty big brookie. That's a pretty fish. 10 inches. Okay, bud. <laughs> and now I got a hook buried in my back of my coat. 12 inch brown. He fought pretty hard. <laughs> Ooh, oh. Just missed a nice fish. It's a little brown, that guy hit pretty hard. Gill shot. Popped right up out of cover. Just had a Ooh, there we go. <laughs> I think that might have been the fish I had on cast before last. Son of a bitch, I think I'm caught on some other fishing line. Unbelievable. So much for working the log. Damn it.
Yeah, sure enough, I'm caught on somebody else's fishing line. Odds of that. God, the amount of stuff I'd have to clean up today if I was actually... Realistically speaking, what's the probability of this happening? Oh my god. I guess I'll go ahead and mono master some of that stuff. Mono Master thing works pretty good. Oh, for God's sake. Nice. I'll clean some of that up anyways.